Hi everybody, it's Sam from Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching today. Nan's back. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so Nan has been visiting. A um, few days left and then she's going to be heading back. So we have got to do some crafting together. So my sister is in the other room with my mum looking after my nephew Charlie. He's sleeping so fingers crossed there'll be no tears and um, yeah we're going to do some crafting today. So Nan actually wants to make a card for her other daughter. <laughs> so this is the card we're going to make. So I showed this to Nan earlier so I've just cut this style here. Now this is not my design, there's loads of these on uh, Pinterest. I actually saw, uh, I think it was Jan B. So, and it was a, it was either a four by six size or a five by seven, maybe, I can't remember, but I've done it as a six by six. So you can actually get two of these out of a sheet of 12 by 12. Once you see how to do it, it's very easy for you to shrink down. But you really liked this unusual mm, style, didn't you? Definitely, definitely. It stands up and then we're gonna probably have, I'm thinking something here, flowers. I've brought in these ones here because Nan loves flowers. Well, everybody does really. So we're gonna use the Bright Rosa Sunflower Border Flowers. There's loads of different dies here which we will cut out and possibly the circle dies. The paper pad we're going to use is this one, Secret Garden, which is an oldie but a goodie. It's gorgeous. So I've already kind of done mine here. This is the one I'm just going to be decorating along with Nan in the greens. But I found this cardstock here, which you really like, don't you? I do, yes. And it matches much. really well with yeah, this. Yeah, I love it this collection. So if you've got the secret garden, I'll pop that to one side now that you've seen it. We'll get straight into the video. So you get all of these bits that you can add to the collection. I think this might be a mix of a few others, but these are little wooden frames. Oh. So you might want to use or do something with the frames. We can do a little kind of bit of decoration on the front. And you also get these little wooden, it's a Wellington boot with a bouquet oh, of flowers. That's cute. It's got a little sticker on the back. Yeah. So we could always put that maybe like down in the bottom or something. It's entirely up to you because I know you like to bling things up a little bit along yeah. the way. And there's these little wooden hearts. This one says with love. Oh, they're nice as well. And that one's a plain one. Hmm. So, but we could maybe, I don't know, we could do stuff with them. We could put glitter on them and things like that as well. So all you want to do, first of all, so I want you to do this scoring now. So this is a scoreboard. I don't think I've done the scoreboard with you before, no. have I? No. So basically there's all these score lines. Oh yeah. And you no, put, I don't remember this one. You put this in the track right. and it will score. Now I know you might not be able to really work out those measurements along the top. So I'm going to kind of start you off. So you want to score at six inches on both sides. So I'm just going to keep it up there. I'm just going to start there. Right. If you want to hold this Nam. Right. You want to come up here with your hands. Of course I forget you're left handed. Yeah. <laughs> right. We're going to pop it in there. I'm going to go down with you because you need to push yeah. down okay. and hold it. All right. All the way down. Keep going. Can you see there's a line appearing? Oh yes. Keep going. There we go. And that's now our score line that we will be able to fold. Oh right. But we want to do another one. So again at six inches. So if you want to bring that up, I'll line you up. Oh you almost, there we go. Push it really down and then just keep going. That's very clever. It's good isn't it? That is. New to me that one. There we go. All right, yep. so you should have four squares that are six by six right. each. So now we don't need the scoreboard anymore, so I'll get rid of that. <coughs> and then it just, now if you want, you could just cut, you could eyeball it. I can't actually get this in my trimmer, it's too long. We wanna now cut from, you wanna pop it on the diagonal like this, you wanna cut from the top to the bottom, but you might find it easier to put a little pencil mark first. So from your middle where they cross over, I'll do this quickly for you and then you can Hey, my eyes aren't all that good. So that's okay. So we're going to do a pencil line there and then do one to this point here as well. So there we go. So this is going to be one card and then this side will be another card. So do you want to cut this or do you want me well, to cut I'll it? Try. Yeah. Well, they're, these are nice big long scissors. It's so just... you want to cut along that pencil line. Right. See how you get on. So yeah, those of you following this video, you just want to cut now right across this pencil line. Right, you're halfway, keep going. You're on right perfectly All through right. the middle. Yeah, keep going. Keep going. You're right on that pencil line. Your eyesight can't be that bad. Well, it don't look as though I'm on the, you on are. the pencil line. I'm you're right on it. It doesn't look as though I am. That's the truth. Right, stop for a second. Let's just line you up. Look, go a minute. I'll just get you back on track. Just come off a little bit there. It's all right. No, you're actually, you're 
Do you want me to just finish that yeah, off? Finish me off, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> God. <laughs> oh okay, right. There you go. So oh. now you can see. Yes, I can. We've got our yeah. two cards. So next, um, let me grab my bone folder here. So where you'll see, can you just see those, make those score yes, lines out? Yeah. So we're just going to fold. I'll do this one, then you can do that one. So you just want to fold them across, rub out any pencil line that we might have. We can do that in a minute. And then we're going to fold that one down. And now you can see we've got that card. Yes. Good, isn't it? So with this one, right, so if you want to fold that one over, you just work it out. Can you just kind of see you're just creasing it along? I'll just bring that one up for you. Mm. There we go. Push that down. That's it. And then grab that. And that will help you burnish your score line. So you just rub it along. Just, just rub it in. Yeah, just rub it straight down. That's it. And just go along. If you, go, if you hold it, it might be easier if you just hold it like that. Oh, you right. can use any side of it. All oh, right. right. We'll rub that pencil out so we can see that one. And then if I just start you up, there you go. You just want to fold that one over. That's it. Yep. All the way down. I've done it. Yep. And then burnish it. That way. Yep. Doesn't matter. Just any, any side will do. But yeah. That's it. Perfect. So I'm just going to rub out our pencil lines. Okay, so we've now got our two cards here. So you can see when they fold down nice and flat, they will fit into a six by six envelope. All right. So next you want to prepare your mats and layers. So Nan loves the holographic oh, card I do, stock. I do. <laughs> just as much as me. So you want a piece that's five and three quarters squared and then your pattern paper, you need that to be five and a half inches squared. Now this one you can cut nice and easily now. So we're bringing this one because you like this, don't you? I do, I think that's wonderful. <laughs> so you want to pop your cardstock in on the diagonal. So we've got it in a diamond shape. I will pop it in so you could, what we want to make sure is that the points yeah. sit perfectly on the blade like so but what I want you to do is I want you to cut it so with this here you just want to make sure you push it against this blade and push it up at the right. same time so you want to push in and push up at the same time my hands won't get you won't cut me or anything I'm going to hold the card in place so towards me go on go on you're going over the card go on that's it gosh <laughs> look at that <laughs> all oh, right that is clever but you it? get a perfect cut Beautiful. so we do that again now with this piece so again I'll hold it in now this time you're just going to pull it down but again the same motion Hold yep. on a second, let me just line up. Right, okay, so push towards me and down. Keep going. Perfect. Oh, that's good. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. So that's our mats and layers. Now also, if you want a mat inside, we'll do that off the video. You want a piece of white cardstock that's five and three quarters squared, and that's where you'll be able to write your message, but we'll do that after the video. Okay, so I'm now where you are. So I'm gonna bring this one in, because I've prepared all of these pieces the same. So first of all, we want to stick down the holographic card and we're going to stick it over the top of this one here. So you'll just have a little border and then this one here, Look at a little nice. border. I'm just wondering whether we could trim it down a little bit so you've got a bit more of a border because I think I went a bit smaller on mine. Yeah, I did. I'm just thinking, I'll put a little thing up in the video, but I reckon you could actually take this one down to five and a half. So those pieces there could actually be five and a half squared for the matte layer. And then for your pattern layer, this would be five and a quarter. So we'll just take a little bit off those. Because I thought we could have gone a bit bigger, that's why I changed it on this one, but there we go. So I'll pop that in the video. So now we'll try again. So that one will go, yeah. So you get much oh, more yeah. of that border. Yeah. And then we'll pop that one, we'll go down like so. So I will give you the this glue here. But you might not be able to see it because it's a clear glue, but I'll be able to tell you. So I'm going to turn this over. I'm going to hold it, Bye. get the glue coming out, and you want to squeeze it. Sorry, use your hand that you would. Don't put, I keep putting it in your right because I'm thinking that you're right-handed, but you're not your left. Oh, we're just dripping a bit. There oh, we go. Sorry. That's all right. You just want to start, just cover the back of this card, squeeze the glue. That's it, go all over, come up into the, oh, maybe a little bit more. Is that right? I'll just go around the edges for you there. Now, you want to stick this one. If we open it up, I think it's going to be easier. Flip it over. You want to stick that into that triangle with a nice border. You were quite good for doing the lining all this up before. So if you work on this point here, where your hand is with the point we come across and then I want to make sure people can see we just come up a bit there we go so you want 
come down here a bit. There. Okay. I've done that right, have I? Just move it down a little bit. There we go. Yeah, I think. Yep. Yep. How about that? Oh, that's good. Yeah, I think that looks okay. Yeah, perfect. And then we open it up now and come down this side. So again, if you want to squeeze, if I get it going again, because I think I need to fill this up. Coming out. It is. Yeah, keep going, oh, and then yeah, I, I can, can always, I can always just I go over the edges. Come up all over this side here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And just go around this edge a little bit here, because you're going to be posting this, so we don't. We want to make sure none of it's going to come off whilst it's travelling. There we go. So again, you want to stick this one in this section that here. Way. Right. All right. Got it. Come down this way a little bit. Keep coming down. I think going. Yeah. That's it, and then we can just move it. If you then move it down, just turn it this way a little bit. There we go. Do you want to pull it down a little bit towards you? There we go. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And we can just wipe away any glue. The good thing with this glue is if you rub your finger over it enough times, it all comes away. Oh. It's really, really good stuff. Yeah. There you go. Got a few bits there. I always say to people, if they get any glue on this lovely mirrored card, let it dry first and then just wipe it with a tissue. But now, look how good that's oh, looking look already. That. And oh, just yes. go in, just yeah. burnish these score lines again. And that will just make sure that it's going to fold. Or we'll kind of hang, we want it to, to drop down. Yeah. Once that opens, see it just... Oh. Good, isn't it? Yes, that is. So that's that one. So I'll do all mine in a second. Now with this one here, this is going to go over the top and give you that lovely border. But with this one, I wouldn't, I mean, you can use this Kalau glue onto this, but it just take a bit too long to dry. So what we're going to do is we're going to put some double-sided tape on the back of this one. So um, do you want to do, can you do this, do you think? So it's just double-sided tape. Oh, I'll try. Uh. So if I do it, if I start you off, so you're going to do like that, and then it, you can just rip the end. Oh, so if you right. push your finger down where you want it to stop, so if you do one all the way down this long one here, I'll come up into here so people can see again. So if you start it, if, we, if I start you off right at the edge here, there we go, then run it right the way down to that end. That's it, keep going. And then put your put this finger now at the end. No, no, no. On. Just push your finger down like that oh, right, yeah. on there and then rip it up with the, this side. Go on, go on, there you go. That's good, isn't it? Yeah, it's quite handy, isn't it? Yeah. So then again, if you want to do one down that side there. Okay, so we've both finished our mats and layers. Do you like yours, Nan? Sorry? Do you like it? Oh, I love it. Open it up. I'm extremely pleased and I feel very clever. That, that one opens it. like that, and then that one. That I've done it. That's it. Yeah. So that's everything ready. We did put some card in the middle in the end. Yeah. So yours is all ready, and then yeah. there's the green version there, and then again opens up like so. So we were just looking and deciding kind of how we want to do our decoration. So we're thinking a circle on the front. Now Nan's going to use this sentiment here, which I love as well, and it's the happy birthday to you on this special day. May the warmest of wishes all come your way. Nice, yeah? I love it. And yep. it's the card making magic versus. Very nice. So with that in mind, we'll do some stamping in a moment. I don't think, did we do stamping before? I don't think, or maybe we did do a bit. No, I think we might have done a little bit. I'm not sure. Well, yeah, I can't remember. No, my memory's terrible oh. as well. Right, so we need to think about the size. See, that would be nice. Oh. That would work quite nice. That is nice. So I'm thinking, because you want to have the matching circle in this colour, which we can do and then white so that we can stamp the message and then we can build up lots of flowers around the outside. How do you like the sound of that? Mm. So it would kind of be like a bit of a floral, <coughs> floral kind of wreath or something. <clears throat> so I think that size and then we'll probably drop down one. Yeah, and that still fits perfectly inside there. So I'll just give the measurements so that if anybody wants to do similar. So the largest circle we're going to use is going to be about three and a half inches diameter. And then this smaller one, and these are stitched ones that I've got here, is it's about three and one eighth whatever your nested circles oh no three and a quarter sorry drop down by so we're going to get these cut in our matching cardstock and then we'll be back i 
Oh, I love it. <laughs> oh. And now, do you want to take these off? Go on, take that one off, that metal. That's it, go on, take it all away. That's oh, all. So it's cut that. that circle. Go on, take all that off. Oh. You take it, it does get, I've got an old plate. Hang on. There we go. So oh, now. That's lovely. That will go over the top. Oh, yes. With our stamped message. Oh. And that will go in the middle of your card. Oh, lovely. Nice, isn't it? Very, very nice. So I'm just going to quickly cut mine. Okay, so we have die cut our circles. You thought that was pretty impressive, didn't you? Oh, I did. That uh, die cutting machine. I really machine. did. So we're going to stamp our sentiments. So Nan's going to do a bit of stamping. So we need to get this one here. And these are just some magnets to hold it in place. So we're going to pop the cardstock there, pop a magnet there and one there. And then we want to get your stamp. And we're going to pop that just like so. Now, if you bring this over, close it like a book, that's it, push down on that stamp, on this one, now lift it back up again, that's it, now that's in place for us to add, no, 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 oh, put sorry. your ink on it, we've got to put the ink on now. Oh, sorry. All right, so oh. what we do now is I want you to, so we've gone for the Harmony Quick Dry Pale Fig, so I want you to now ink that onto there so that's the ink pad don't try not to get your fingers on that no. okay do you want to hold that and you're going to stamp it onto there that's it push down make sure yeah now lift it up there we go oh, look at that well, i think we can do it twice and that's the good thing about using this device so i'm just going to add that is a bit more so for clever. you right do you want to close it again close oh. that again Try not to get fingers on it. Yeah, this little bit here, I've got a little oh, like sorry. that's alright, you want to see. And then turn it over, that's it, push it down. All over. Give it a good old really push on that stamp. That's it, and then lift it up again. That's better. Oh, look at that. Nice, isn't it? That is so clever. <laughs> no, no, I'm so impressed with it all. I'm I don't really know if am. people can see. Let me just um I'm going to have mine as well. So we've just stamped our sentiments and how impressed are you? Oh, very, very <laughs> impressed. She got really excited. Yeah, with the stamp. I did. Like a little child again. <laughs> I think it's that stamping platform. It's really good. <laughs> so yeah, okay. You can put your hand down now. <laughs> <laughs> right. So next oh, we are going to attach these. I think we're going to use some foam because those that follow me know I love to put everything on foam. So we're going to lift them up on some foam and then they will end up going into the centres of our card, which I think is going to look lovely. And then we're going to finish it off with some flowers and I think you might like Nouveau drops. So what I've got here is some new foam. Sorry if you can hear the baby crying in the background. I think he's just woken up or he needs to go back to sleep maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do mine and then you can do... In fact, if you want to try and take some off, you just you see how they are there they're little double-sided sticky tabs so if you just follow on from where i've started all right taking a few off there and then there's two more there so if you want to stick that one just there oh just there that's it yep and then that one yeah just there Perfect. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. And what that will do now, I'll just take mine off, is it will give us that dimension. Well, I'll try. It's all right. About uh, there. Yep, yep. Squeeze it down. Come on. That's it. And what will happen now is that foam, can you see how it's lifted it? Oh, yes, yes. Nice, isn't it? Just gives you, again, just a little bit more dimension yes. to the card. So now we need to decide whether you want to have it half stuck to the top one so it's like that or half stuck to the bottom one so it's like that oh, i don't mind either way i think i'm thinking on the top yep yeah, okay no I'll, I'll, I'll stick mine down and then we can see I'm better a professional than <laughs> myself so yeah but it's also down to what you prefer yeah, I know, and what you I'll like leave it, i'll leave it to you Either let's, way, it looks all right to me. Let's see. Well, we want to make sure it's in the middle, so I'm going to lie this flat. Um, we want to make sure, yeah, you don't want to get any glue onto no. that side, obviously, where it's not going to stick. But oh, that's lovely. Because it kind of rests on that as well. Yeah. So, yeah, we're going to stick it on the top one there. Yeah. 
all right and then it opens up like so i'm so pleased with that it's nice isn't it well it if is. you're really good i'll let you keep this one to give to someone else as well oh, so you can have that you. one for another person and then oh, you know this one would just be a happy birthday card so you can give it to a oh, friend and then you. this one obviously we're going to add we're going to add daughter to this inside after the video but um we'll keep it like this for the minute so i'm going to just put the glue on the half that you need and then you can stick it down okay so do you want to stick that one if i kind of go and hold it you hold it and i'll guide you that's it so if you come up keep it straight come down towards you a little bit about there is that it yeah i think so see oh, the glue's only on this half that's lovely i think that's about right so oh, hold I'm it up i'm so pleased with that so you, well, we haven't decorated it yet no, that's no, the best it, bit it's coming along very nice and then if we lift it up got a little bit of glue there but again this glue's so nice you can just rub it away yeah it's good like so and that will just disappear there we go oh they look nice really really pleased with those so we're now going to go and die cut all of the flowers and what i think we'll have if we can take a few of these out so oh, people can see so it's the bright rose of sunflower border flowers but i thought we oh. could have not that one because we don't want the the cluster they're too big but i thought these individual ones we could die cut a couple so you can have a flower there and you could have a couple down here kind of built up and we could do here. yeah that's lovely and we're going to cut them in the same purple color oh. so we can do yours in this color here and we'll put some nice bling in the centers of it i Very think that'll look really nice that's so lovely. we're going to go and get all our flowers ready and then we'll be back to stick them down okay so we have just been enjoying doing some die cutting so nan's been shaping flowers which you really enjoyed didn't you oh i did and then she's, she's got these ones here. I've got the same ones as well, but we die cut these. These are all those bright rows of flowers and we're gonna put embellishments in them. We just layered them up and we've also cut some of these leaves which match and I just think it's all gonna finish it off nicely. The Nouveau drop that I think is gonna match well is the plum pudding. So that's the one we're gonna use. I've got some embellishments for the centers of the flowers and possibly we'll pop a ribbon on as well. I've got a few colors in here that I think will match really nicely. So we've got the glue. We'll use this glue here because it's quite a quick grab. So we want to kind of display the flowers so that it doesn't interfere with the sentiment because you want to be able to obviously read what it says. And these will fan out a little bit when we do it. But how do you want these? So, I mean, you kind of play around because well. we're just placing them for the minute. I'm just going to place mine where I think. So I always tell everybody, lay your stuff down first. So you're going to have yours all dotted around like that, yeah? Yeah, I think so. And then yeah. I'm going to yeah, I think so. have things like the little uh, leaves. As long as she can read what it says on there. We're going to go a bit like something like that. Okay, so if you want to, um, if I put the glue on for you, you want to make sure you stick everything on the circle because otherwise it's going to, this yeah, might not open yeah. close. So stick that where you wanted it. So I think you want to put it there. Oh, not on the, make sure you don't get it on you. There you go. That's it. Once with this glue, once it's down, that's kind of it. Oh, right. So you still want to be able to read, obviously, your happy birthday. There we go. And then again, if I put a bit of glue on that one for you, oh. and you stick that one down. keep like shaking your head in amazement. I, I, I am. It, <laughs> the end product, I think that's the word. Yeah. It's, it's wonderful. I'm glad you've Absolutely. enjoyed it. Oh. You said you've learnt a lot today, didn't you? Oh, definitely. Oh, you've been wonderful to teach. Oh, bless you. <laughs> you've been a very, very good teacher. Oh, bless you. You are. You have. This is the Spectrum Noir Sparkle Pen. Lots of people would have seen me use this before. Just give it a good shake. Right, so basically, if I do it on mine first, it's clear, but it's full of glitter. So when it dries, it will leave. Can you see that sparkle that's starting oh, to come yes. on? It's gorgeous. You see it? Yes. And you can keep layering it up. Can you see all that sparkle? I know, I know. So you just want to literally paint it on, and you can, it doesn't matter where it goes, you can get it on here. It, it's it's not going to damage your card and it dries clear so do you want to 
if I just get some more coming out for you, there we go. And just literally just brush it all over your flowers. Yep. Oh, hold the maybe hold the that. card might be a bit easier for you to if you hold the card. Look at that. Oh yeah. Yeah, just cover oh. all your leaves. And it's just coming out, is yep. it? You don't have to squeeze nothing. No, it's just coming out. I don't know if I'm doing it all over, but and then what we can do now is just lift your flowers up and just give them a bit more shape. Oh. I get this little pokey tool, I can get right in there. Go just on. kind of move some of the petals around. You can curl them up as well. But it just helps, just, yeah, bring everything together. And then I'll pop a few of those Nuvo drops because I just think it's just, I love it. And it'll give that person yeah. something else. But look, if you open that up now, how pretty is that? <laughs> She just rubbed my face. Oh, <laughs> Isn't oh, it gorgeous? So nice. Such a pretty card. Oh. So what I'll do for you is a very, very tiny, really small couple of little dots and it will just, these will dry rock hard, but it just adds another little fun. So clever. <laughs> I can't get over that. It's lovely. Okay, so we have finished our card, so I'll just bring up my one there just so you can see all that dimension. We've added a few Nuvo drops just for some more texture, and then the card will open up for you to write your message. You can see, as we showed before, they stand up really nicely. And now Nan, the best one, do you want to bring it up? There we go, do you want to just move it around slowly? That's it. Just so everybody can see all what you've done. I think it looks wonderful. Are you pleased? I'm so proud. Just keep it straight, just so those we don't want those new drops dropping. So, have you enjoyed it? I thoroughly enjoyed it. Bless your heart. <laughs> oh. You're welcome. Oh. Um, what was the best bit? Uh, I think putting the flowers on and new, then being cut. And, yeah, you like that. Don't oh, you? I like that. And then putting these little bits on these. I'll call them pearls. Yeah, they are. No, that's oh, exactly they what they pearls. are. Yeah, they're flat back yeah. pearls. They're just sticky embellishments. No, I, I'm over the moon. I, I, I'm really enthralled. Oh. That's the word. You're lovely. Oh, you're so oh, cute. You. <laughs> so oh. that is another series or episode, should I say, of Crafting with Nan. Oh. It's our third one now. And what did you say before? I think I might leave it in the video, but you said this is your favourite one, isn't it? Your best card? Yes. The one I, I, I was pleased with my first. But it's, it seems as though I'm getting better every time. <laughs> <laughs> you are getting better every time. You wait till mum sees that. She's oh, going to be bless. really jealous. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to say goodbye and thank you for watching. Um, I'm sure there's going to be many of you that are going to leave some lovely comments for Nan and I'll make sure that she gets those. Nan, anything you want to say? I oh, just want to th thank you for taking interest and I've got a wonderful granddaughter and a very, very lovely, good teacher. Aww. And thank you for watching. Thank you, but there you go. I've got nothing else to say. Thank uh, you for watching, and I'll be back again soon with another yeah. video. Bye. Bye. Do you want to wave, wave Bye. in the camera? Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> oh.